bump into a wall and bloof! Spadoosh! Hello there and welcome back to your Doom! PlayStation Doom, that is! Total conversion PlayStation Doom, that is, because I'm not gonna be playing through no dang PS1 emulator. I got me a mod that allows mouse aiming. And let me tell you, mouse aiming is pretty nice. Yeah, but you know what else is nice? Finding fresh meat. PlayStation Doom 2, yes, that would be nice. <laughs> it's kind of hard to have it keep its horror theme when you're basically slashing through everything like you're the horror monster. I want to kill you! I should probably quit doing that kind of voice. I've already did that enough in the previous video. Stuff the zombie. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not good. Hello, friend. Good to see ya. Unfortunately, uh, I'm being a little bit careless. That, on the other hand, that is a good time to use the chainsaw. But maybe right here. You know, it gets one, one amp, it's, it's good. As it gets to a horde, that's when it becomes slightly less good, you know what I mean? Funny how, for once in the PlayStation Doom, I have to pistol start. Because in the episode, between the episodes, I didn't have to pistol start. Now, all of a sudden, I'm back to square one. It's kind of funny how that works, isn't it? Nice colored lighting, though. For some reason, it feels bigger than the PC version. I'm not really sure why that is. I can't tell if it's actually bigger or if it just feels bigger. It probably just feels bigger. Maybe it's the way that the textures are, I don't know. Perhaps someone with more clarity on that than me, than I, can explain why it suddenly feels bigger. Maybe I'm just fooling myself, who knows? Who knows in this crazy world of ours? Halluc Self-induced hallucination would not be out of the question. Probably. Huh, that's funny. It still retains its two value, but there are just as many as there were in the PC version. So it gives you more health. Underhauls. It's definitely a different feeling when it doesn't have that classic doo doo. Doo doo. Doom doo. Uh, probably sounds better to say doom instead of doo. Do the doo? Hello, friend. Huh. Interesting. It's like a, it's like a missing front tooth. I can't go through it, but that looks different from the PC version. I think this is actually based off an older PC version, where you know the level design for PlayStation Doom was. Obviously, like I said, this is just a mod. It's a PC Doom to imitate PlayStation Doom. You know what I mean? This is using the level design of PlayStation Doom, which is a lot. It's getting a lot closer to the PC version's levels now. Well, it was that in thy flesh consumed as well, but you know what I mean. These are some more mainland Doom levels that are more like the PC counterparts, because unlike the first three episodes, they're not deriding off of the Jaguar version. Which is kind of funny, because if anything, the PlayStation Doom 2 is a lot more complex and intricate than Doom 1 is. In fact, I don't know if you noticed, the GBA version actually had to make some cutbacks in all the levels to some extent. Well, not every single level, but you know what I mean. The majority of the levels had to be scaled back to some extent. Well, I guess that's a, that's a bad way to put it, scaled down. That makes it sound like they went down a peg. What I mean is they had to be modified to... They had to be modified to run better on the Game Boy Advance. Which actually in mo most cases meant they added detail just to obscure the player's vision so that it wouldn't have to render as much. It's a rather interesting process. And it's interesting the way that logic works. You you make the game run better by adding more detail to it. You would think that would sound crazy, but no. 
if you add large objects that are simple, simplistic, but obscure the player's vision so that it doesn't have to render what's behind it at any one time, then it makes the game run a lot better overall. Oh, that's funny, that shotgunner wasn't trapped. I guess they didn't upgrade him some, something over the PC version. Well, besides the color lighting, obviously. Whether or not these sounds and music changes are an improvement or not is really up to you, but you can at least call it a side grade. For what it's worth. It's like the 3DS version of Luigi's Mansion. It's got better lighting, yeah, but on the other hand, it's got... Actually, now that I think about it, I would consider Luigi's Mansion for the 3DS more of a downgrade than an upgrade, because it removes basically all the dust effects that kick up whenever you use the vacuum, and without all those dust effects, it kind of loses its decrepit feeling, you know? Too much of the atmosphere is lost, in my opinion, for my taste. Oh, that's, that's real nice. That's real freaking fresh. Yep. Douche nozzle. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? I know what I'm thinking. I'm getting the hell out of here. <laughs> I better, better speed things up. I'm going a little too slow here. Especially for someone who should know to do two levels up and down. This is the PlayStation version. Any changes are superficial at best. Probably. I mean, I would assume the GBA could handle it mostly intact. You think a much stronger piece of the PlayStation version would, would handle itself, right? For the most part. Apparently, because... Oh, oh okay. You know what? I think I just realized why it feels bigger. Just due to the fact that some of the levels actually have to have their heights reduced. I think it's because of the way the PlayStation version you know, wraps textures. The way that it repeats textures. Yeah. Apparently one of the PlayStation uh, Doom levels, the, the final Doom levels of the PlayStation version, you can see the texture gets stretched in one of the levels. Because they didn't take the time to reduce the height map, or maybe they couldn't get away with it. Either way, it shows the limitation of the PlayStation version with the way that it wraps and repeats textures. Also, they got rid of the windows. Or were there windows? Yeah, I think, I'm pretty sure there were, you know, little alcoves that represented windows, you know what I mean. Of course, the GBA version was flat out removed those spaces entirely, but still. It looks, it, it looks kind of sillier here. I think I'd almost rather it not have windows than for it to have just open areas in place of windows. Because this doesn't look structurally... This doesn't make structural sense, because why would you have huge gaps where you can just fall off the side? I think there would at least be guardrails there or something. It's more abstract. Which I, I guess you could say isn't a bad thing, but, you know, still. If, if somehow manages to make the Doom levels even less believable, that's even possible. Which is kind of funny. It's funny to me. Right, I didn't grab the backpack, but I will be back. I have to be back. There's a soul sphere. Hey, buddy. And hello to you, too. You know what? I should start using this. Why am I not using this? I got it. I may as well take advantage of it. Apparently, Doom Eternal is going to prevent you from being able to use all of your weapon, using any one weapon for too long effectively, because they, they're, they're actually designing their monsters in such a way that allows it to... Well, it denies you access to certain weapons because it's ba it's worse against them than it is for others. So, for instance, the Mancubus has area of denial, so the super shotgun, the double barrel, isn't going to be as good against them. Whereas, I think, with the... Frick. What am I thinking of? There's, there's one enemy that likes to close the gap. I think it's the Hell Knight. Yeah, the Hell Knight makes the rocket launcher bad to use against it, so you can't rely on one weapon for too long in Doom Eternal, supposedly. That's what, from what I heard based on the gameplay reveal that revealed a long time ago, but I'm just now getting around to talking about it. Because screw it, why not? Who said there's a statute of limitations on talking about things? I can talk about things all I want. 
Not to mention this video is scheduled in the future, which means it will be even more out of date by the time you actually hear this. Oh well. It's not like the game will have released yet, at least I don't think. Yeah, not. Oh, it doesn't have the backpack. Well, that's a damn shame. Here, I was hoping I'd get the backpack. Well, dag nabbit. That's too bad. Unless I'm mistaken, this version does have backpacks. Heck, I think even the SNES version has backpacks. And the Super Nintendo version is probably the, the most ambitious port, to say the least. Because they had basically nothing to work with. That's not to say the Super Nintendo isn't a very good system, but in the era of 32-bit systems, it uh, kind of fell short a bit. But that's because it was never meant to do 3D. So the fact that Super the Super Nintendo version of Doom looks as good as it is, quite frankly, a miracle. It's amazing what they managed to squeeze out of it. Even if they did use a Super FX chip, I think that only adds more RAM and maybe a second CPU. That doesn't add to the GPU. Which means it was pretty much all the GPU of the original Super Nintendo that was doing all that. The vanilla Super Nintendo's GPU was powering the Super Nintendo version of Doom completely by itself. Which is pretty impressive. And of course they had to use a coprocessor and more RAM because that's not something that you can fake. You can you can dip down graphics to compensate for weaker graphics, but if your CPU is the bottleneck, it's just gonna run bad. I mean unless you do things like remove physics or remove AI in the case of Doom or remove AI. That, that's about all you can do. Well, I guess you could remove the the redundant, the rudimentary, the simplistic, the basically nothing physics that Doom had, where it causes corpses to go forward and backwards depending on how you shot them, but that doesn't exactly take up much processing power, does it? You know, like when you kill an enemy on stairs and they fall down the stairs, it's, they probably had to remove that. Well, I can't imagine why, but, you know. I should probably not grab that box of shells, even though I'm apparently required to. Oh, come on. Screw that. Screw that, then. I'm, I'm not about to waste ammo like that. That's good freaking ammo right there. I'll wait until my ammo is reduced enough to justify it. I say I don't want to waste ammo, and yet I'm shooting singular imps. Because that's definitely not a waste of super shotgun ammo. I can cut through several of, several of them in a single shot. Oh, but no, I don't want to waste ammo. Screw this. There you go, bun there you go, pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. How do you think about that? Huh? What do you think about that? There you go, now it's more justified. I'm not sure if I wasted any ammo there, but it's surely significantly less. That's what counts. Hey, buddy. That all you got? And the funny thing is Nightmare was removed for this version. So I can technically say I'm on the highest difficulty possible. <laughs> Except not really. I'm not on the highest difficulty that Doom can go, just on the highest difficulty that this Doom can go. Buddy. I don't think there was anything left to grab. Well, apparently there were items left to grab, but probably nothing related to health, which is what I would have needed. Hey, buddy. Hello, friend. You know, I don't even care if I waste ammo at this point. Screw you. Damn you. See, you like it. Huh? Your own weapon against you. Buddy. Damn it. I'm trying to get the maximum efficiency with ammo possible, and that's making it difficult. Screw this. I'm gonna mow you down. Like the pigs you are. Actually, it doesn't matter anyway, because Doom basically has ammo everywhere. It's a gun nuts dream. It's a gun nuts wet dream right there. 
You howdy. I never gotta worry about running out of no ammo. Fancy, fancy ammo. Ow. That hurt, you know. Why would you do that to me, sir? <laughs> well, at least two of you got grounded into a pulp. I'll take that. I knew it. I knew you guys would be there. Buddy. Is there a chain gun commando right there? Yep. He's right there. <laughs> Can't fool me. You were hoping to sneak up on me, weren't you? No, no, no. I find it funny how they turn they changed it into glass, but shots can still go through it. Didn't think that one out very thoroughly, did ya, boy oh? It would make sense for you to not be able to go through a cage, but bullets to be able to go through a cage because there are kind of holes there, but what is there a hole in the force field? Just big enough for a bullet to pass through? Well, I can get out of here. Not that it matters, I can get out from the start, but you know. Hey, buddy. Hello, friend. How are you doing? I better pick up the pace a little bit. Well, I've already got access to a soul steer, so it really doesn't matter. Hey, buddy. I find it funny how it still uses the enemy alert sound for the pursuit sound. You know, instead of going, huh? It goes, no! And yes, I'm doing my bad interpretations of the sounds. Yo! Hello? Definitely more than justified. Although, what's even more justified is this. There are clips everywhere. Hello, friend. Look, there are lost souls. I should have real. I, I probably forgot about them from the previous levels. Hello. Uh, it has 69. Well, not anymore. Sorry to ruin your potentially funny jokes in the comments. It's a little late now. 36. I make a joke out of that. 23, huh? Well, at least I'm full on ammo again. And I got a soul sphere and mega armor waiting for me, so it don't matter at all. Hey buddy, I faced you down already. If this was the PC version of Doom 2, that would probably be the first real encounter you ever had with a Hell Knight, but seeing as how this version of Doom was nice enough to pepper them throughout Doom 1 to replace the Barons and make it more reasonable because Barons are freaking bullet sponges. This is not, in fact, the first time. It's the first time in Doom 2, though. Buddy. Ah, crap. I forget they can teleport. Or I should say they can use teleporters. That's like saying that technically people can fly. They can take an airplane. That's not the kind I admit. It leaves itself up to interpretation. It implies that they can do it on their own. Rather than they're just using a device, you know? Ow. Go screw yourself, pal. There we go. How do you like that, Sunny Jim? How do you like that? I'm guessing you don't like that very much. Hey, know I feel whenever you're beating up on me. Yeah, doesn't feel so good, does it? When you're on the receiving end and what now? At least I don't have to worry about getting ammo. I'm already full. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'm already full. I'm full of something. But I think you you knew that already. 
Right, the crusher is where its limitations become really apparent. You don't have to worry about that. This is faithfully trying to recreate the levels after all, which means you're gonna see in full force. Like I said, because of the way the PlayStation handles stretching, it leads to some compromises. Now I do know for a fact this level has two mega spheres on it and a soul sphere, so it's it's not like you're gonna be hurting for health anytime soon. See for yourself. Yeah, see? See how much smaller this room is? It's barely bigger than the crusher ceiling. There you go. I mean, I guess you could say it's a good thing because it expediates it. You don't have to look up that huge room just to be able to kill the enemies. They're right there. Literally right there. It almost looks like you could climb up that. Yeah, good luck climbing up the one in the original PC version. Look like it would be an arduous task, you know what I mean? Looks like you could just hop, hop over there and then proceed to just... Casually stroll up there. Yeah, see, this is actually this is actually a higher point than that is. What the? Okay, it seems that you have neglected a certain area. Can you actually go over there from here? That'd be hilarious if you could. Because that would mean it was oversight. Okay, so it probably isn't quite close enough that you could do that. I mean, you probably could, but if you had more skill than I than I do, you probably could if you did it just right. Ah, you can! <laughs> so, your reducing of the heights has led to your downfall. Has it not? I didn't even have to go up that. I didn't even have to go, oh, I didn't even have to go up that. It's kind of silly. I don't know why, I just find that hilarious. There you go. Technically, I had to shoot you twice, but I'm still gonna say two for the price of one, just for the fun of it. Actually, yeah, I can. <laughs> Even the cavern's been shortened, I think. It looks like it was shortened. It might not have been. Huh. Did it not trigger? Is it because I didn't have to go through that? That's weird. It didn't trigger. It didn't spring the trap. That's weird. That actually has me a little concerned now. Odd. You'd think the act of grabbing the key would have done it though. Huh. I guess it just doesn't exist here. Let me, let me, let me just check to make sure. Okay, it does exist. But if it exists, then how do you spring it? It doesn't make any sense. Maybe there's a, a tagline right... Yep, there's a tagline right there. Which means you can easily get through that without springing it. You just have to know how to jump. I mean, it's really simple. When you get down to it. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to expedite this a little bit. There's really no need to keep those. Like I said, there are two mega spheres on this freaking level. And I just bypass one of them. Because that's gonna be my final one. I'm gonna grab the, the other mega sphere as soon as I get to it, because expedience! It's better to grab it when I am in more need of it. And trust me, after I'm after I go through this, I'm gonna be in more need of it. Huh. This may actually be taller than that main pressure room. Which is kind of funny. Actually, I'm pretty sure it is tall. Oh boy. I think all of its shots are homing, but the exchange for that is that they move a lot slower, so they're a lot easier to dodge. They can hound you, but they're really that, not, not that big of a threat. Unless you're just not paying attention to the Revenant, in which case, I mean, if you've been playing Doom long enough, you know instinctively you have to focus on the Revenants. Because if you focus away from them, you're dead. There are only two types of enemies that take priority. Actually, t I guess there are three that take priority over a Revenant. 
Those would be the Arch Vial, Hit Scan Enemies, and possibly Pain Elementals. I say possibly because, you know, they, they might not require as... They might not require as much of your attention. It really depends. Oh, whoops, I accidentally closed the game down! Frick. Frick. I gotta not do that. Come on, hurry up. This doesn't take long enough to warrant a fast forwarding, but boy howdy does it annoy me. Damn it. This is harder than it looks, trust me. There we go. There you go. <laughs> ah, I got hit the second I entered. What's the point of the blue armor, by the way? That don't make no sense. So, if you factor in that soul sphere that I grabbed earlier, you could get to a 200% health and 200% armor three times over, literally. You know, assuming that you get up to 100 with the remaining med kits and whatnot. Which, this level has an abundance as well, so... Yeah. Practically speaking, you can restore your health and armor to 200% three times over at this level. You think they give us enough? You think they gave us enough? I mean, I'm not sure. I mean, I just don't know. Wow. Look at, look at this! I think this room is bigger, too. I mean, I can't tell for sure, but it definitely feels bigger. Maybe it's because that one's just wider. So it appears to be... It appears to be smaller in comparison. But that's really silly. I don't know why I'm harping about that. Alright, come on. Oh boy. Bastard. I think I got all the surplus health and surplus armor. Why's that getting a little cute right now? Go to hell. I don't think so, buddy boy. Alright, come on. There you go. Yeah, they take two shots because they're nightmares. They're not specters or pinkies or whatnot. They're full on nightmares. Okay, good. I have confirmed that I have all the. I killed all the enemies. Yeah, it does look smaller. Although, actually, now that I'm looking at it, yeah, it's actually. It's probably the same. But like I said, because it it's probably because it was so much bigger in the first one, it's got so much varying height levels that you're supposed to get to, it feels smaller because there's less of, uh, there's less contrast, because you see between here and there, it probably helps that there's the moat there, but it feels more imposing, you know? Maybe it's just me. Oh well. I don't have as much shotgun ammo as I could have, but screw it. Nice. Very nice, uh. Now I'm actually getting used to rocket launcher ammo. Hey, buddy. You really think you were a match for me? Oh, bastard. I don't need you to kill me. My own stupidity will do that for you. Don't you worry about a thing. Let's just go ahead and run around. Here you go, buddy. I've set you free so that I can put you back in the grave. Ow. Right. In some ways, the invisibility, the partial invisibility is, uh, it's very much a mixed bag. It's a, it's a blessing and a curse. I forgot the term that I was looking for, but screw it. You know what I mean. It's a double-edged sword. That's the word. That's probably what I was looking for. Oh, boy. Well, in this case, it might help me more than could be. Because there's so many of them, and I can't meaningfully dodge all of them, so some of them are bound to divert the other way. The other way from where I'm dodging. If that makes any sense. It probably helps overall, you know. Sorry. My throat is still uh, a little phlegmy because of playing Steps the Zombie earlier, and I just had to use this kind of voice. Which is kind of a kind of burger on my throat, you know what I mean? 
one of these guys. Nope. I don't know how that's a secret. You just bump into a wall and... Bloof! Sploosh! Secret found. Oh, you bastard. You bastard. You're gonna pay for that one. Especially for making my health a sexy number. Damn you to hell! Damn you to hell! Hang tight real quick. There. Now, before I got so rudely interrupted, I was going to point out to YouTube that sexy is a word that was in the Fairly Odd Parents. So if you're gonna if you're gonna partially demonetize me for using the word sexy, then that means that you are officially more restrictive than the Fairly Odd Parents, a literal kids cartoon on a kids network. I'm just saying, YouTube, sexy is a kid appropriate term according to Nickelodeon. So unless you want to be more restrictive than them, balls in your court. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But what I'm saying right now is I should probably get the hell out of here. And hell was in Portal 2. I'm all out of time, unfortunately. In fact, I'm actually going over my time limit. So I'm gonna have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like cyber demons and barons. Although the numbers seem to have been reduced a bit. And I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.